Oh, I love that song. A um, little bit of a different arrangement, though. Um, you're probably used to hearing it with the piano and just this almost like an orchestra behind it. Um, if you're not familiar with that song, it was New York City Serenade by Bruce Springsteen off of the Wild, the Innocent, and the E Street Shuffle. If you don't have that album, you, you've got to go get it. Buy it on vinyl, get the CD. If you've got your Amazon, your iTunes, whatever else you use, find it on YouTube. Um, that album was the precursor to Born to Run, and it was off to the races from there. Just the second side of that album, you have Incident on 57th Street, Rosie, and it closes out with this New York City Serenade. Um, one of the only two albums where David Sanchez was uh, playing piano on this one, and you had Vinnie Mad Dog Lopez as well on, on, on the first two albums, including this one. Um, so what I've done is, now the, the, the song itself is in the key of A. So uh, if you want to play with the album, you're either going to have to find a capo to play it, or you just play bar chords. Um, not a fan of um, using having to use bar chords because there's, there's two sections where you've got to use bar chords. So the album itself, the key of A, so it's going to go from A, F sharp minor, to B minor. So let's try that again. That's it right there. So, but you know what? If you're going to be just strumming along, uh, key of G is probably your, your 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 best friend when it comes to just kind of strumming along to, to certain things. And when you transpose to the key of G. It, it, it's just easier, I think, on the fingers. It flows. It just kind of sounds a little bit better. You're gonna. It, it's basically just you know your G, E minor, A minor, C, and that's just kind of the, you know, most of the song right there. I happen to have a G harmonica, and I, I've I've played along to it. As a matter of fact, uh, me and Mike from from our band Wrong Side of Forty, we did an open mic night. It's a couple months ago now. And we did another Springsteen song. We did a Jackson Brown song. And last minute, we decided to do this song. And when we did this song, people started looking at us uh, because we were doing something a lot of them hadn't heard before. It had a different sound to it. It was, you know, really stripped down. Uh, and it's just a lot of fun to play. It really is. So, again, it, it's pretty simple stuff. Uh, when you strip it down this way, uh, as far as the chords, again, G, E minor, A minor, C, in the key of G, though, um, a couple of other chords here and there, uh, but again, they're 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 fairly simple. There's a D, there's an E, uh, I think in there. So, um, you know, we'll go we'll go over it in, in more detail. We'll get a closer look up front here, uh, you know, close up to the fingers, and uh, we'll go from there. All right. All right. So let's get in a, a closer look at this song. Some of the chord structure. Again, you, you, you're going to be using some some pretty simple chords for this um strumming pattern my suggestion is just just listen to the song if you haven't or don't know much about it just get a feel for it how it flows the tempo and then make it your own i mean again this is you know something that i kind of came up with in, in this key i threw the harmonica in there just to see how it would sound and it, it really worked well so um the song itself you've got your intro your verse there's a pre-chorus at least i call it the pre-chorus the chorus um there's a bridge in there. I think it's after the second verse. But again, all pretty simple stuff. You'll be able to hear it. But keep in mind, if you're going to play along to the album, it's in the key of A. We're playing in the key of G. So what I would suggest is you can use the same chord shapes that I'm using right now in the key of G. All you need to do is put a capo on the on the second fret, and you can play those same chord shapes I'm playing. You'll be in the same key because you're just moving everything uh, up a step, a full step. All right? So let's start off. Again, like the intro I showed you earlier. Let's try that again. <laughs> but anyway, it's going to be a G, G, E minor, A minor, so it's going to be the intro. You go maybe two or three times, probably two times around. 
and you're going to go right into the verse. It's going to be the same progression in the verse. You're going to do that, I believe it is four times. And then you're going to have a bit of a breakdown um, after the verse. I'll play the last part of the, ver of the verse. <laughs> two chords and you're going to play that progression uh, just two times. That's the part where the, uh, the lyrics come in, Jackie's heels are stacked. So you're going to do that two times. On the third time, you're going to go back to that A minor. So it's going to be A minor, C, into the D. That D is your turnaround to get back into the chorus, basically, which is the same as the intro and the verse. So walk on. That's basically it. It goes right into the verse one, one more time. Oh, well, again, I should say. Again, that G minor. Excuse me, G, E minor, A minor, C. You're going to do that all over again. And again, uh, you're going to go through the verse, and there's a bit of a bridge, but the bridge is just like that pre-chorus, basically. Um, same thing all over again. The only difference coming out of that um, fourth verse... When it goes to that A minor, C, and D, you're gonna hold that D for another measure. And that's the outro. I mean, that outro you can play as long as you want. Um, when I'm playing with the harmonica, I just kind of let it go for, for quite a while just to kind of give it some um, a, a bit of depth and something different. But make it your own. I mean, that's pretty much what I did with this. It's a great song. You've got to check out that album. Again, that led to, to the Born to Run album. Um, you know, and I'll tell you, between The Wild and the Innocent, Born to Run, and Going Into to Darkness, um, those three albums... You know, I don't know if you'll find another band. I mean, there's probably a handful of bands, but a band that put a string of those three, um, even four albums, if you want to count the river, um, together. So check it out. Uh, hopefully this helped you out. Something you, you can learn and play along with. Uh, fairly simple. Again, I play it in the key of G without any capo. You can do it in the key of A, and you'll be all set. We'll see you next time.